Hi everyone, I am your Punnam Venkat. Today we will discuss one more new topic. The topic name is called payment term. Basically, we have uh, three types of payment terms. Fixed payment term, installment payment term and discount payment term. So now the video is fixed payment term. Okay. The next video installment payment term. Again next video discount payment term. So let's discuss the pick fixed payment term. Like first of all, you people want to understand what is mean by payment term. What is the use of payment term? Payment plus term. Payment term means, everyone, concentrate here. Payment term means or payment term is calculating the invoice due date. Calculating the invoice due date. After posting the invoice, for example, maybe vendor invoice or maybe customer invoice, if you generate the reports on the report, I want to see on which date I want to pay the vendor payment, on which date I want to receive the customer payment. On the fixed payment term, the process is after posting the invoice, I want to see the payment date when I want to receive, when I want to pay. So here I added some points everyone, better note it down for the interview prospective. In case anyone will ask what is mean by payment term, you can tell the this answer. Very simple everyone, especially fixed payment term means, fixed payment term is calculating the due date. Which due date? Payment due date. After posting the invoice, if you generate the reports on the reports, we want to observe when I have to do the payment, when I have to receive the payment. Let us assume I can give you one beautiful scenario. Everyone. Let us assume I can give you one beautiful scenario. Example, my company code is called IA10. My company code is called IA10. I have one vendor. I have one vendor. And vendor is called uh, A. 123 private limited any any vendor you can take a123 private limited where you will create the vendor vendor we will create on bp it's called vendor where we will create the vendor t code is called bp business partner everyone concentrate here me and my vendor me and my vendor have a mutual understanding what is the mutual understanding Whenever my vendor will send the invoice, whenever my vendor will send the invoice, okay, example, let us assume invoice, whenever my vendor will send the invoice, uh, date is called uh, uh, 20, 10, 20, example, I am taking this date. Example, I am taking this date. One second. Here I add one more column. <clears throat> the amount is called 1 lakh. Example, I am taking this date everyone. So now my vendor has sent invoice on this date. My question is, me and my vendor, me means my company code. My company and my vendor have a mutual understanding. What is the mutual understanding? Whenever vendor will send the invoice, we want to make the payment on 15 days. 15 days or 10 days or 20 days. So this is the mutual understanding between our company and vendor. Let us assume, let us assume 10 days, 10 days of the payment. So my, my invoice is called 20. Then when I want to make the payment, when I want to make the payment, so I want to make the payment on, example, payment to the vendor and maybe 30 or 30, 31st, whatever, 30, 
10, 20, 23. Amount is called 1 lakh. Amount is called 1 lakh. So this 10 days is called payment term. After posting the invoice, if you generate the reports, the report want to show the report want to show the due date. So what is the due date? This is the due date. This is an a due date. And this is an a invoice date. This is an a invoice date. Due date nothing but payment date. On this payment, we want to make the payment. On this date, we want to make the payment. Okay, so let it be same process, same scenario for customers also. Same scenario for customers also. Example, me and my customer, me and my customer have a mutual understanding. What is the customer name? Example, what is my customer name? Let us assume my customer name is called B123 Private Limited. 123 Private Limited. Private Limited. So he is called my customer. My customer. My customer. Where we will create the customer? We will create the customer on BP, business partner. This is the T code action. BP is the T code. Everyone, concentrate here. Me and my customer also have one mutual understanding. Me and my customer also have one mutual understanding. And whenever I send invoice to my customer, whenever I send invoice to my customer, example invoice, customer invoice or invoice, and the date is called 20, 10, 2023, 20, 10, 2023, 20, 20, then amount is called 2 lakhs. Then, example everyone, whenever I send the invoice to my customer, my customer want to make the payment on example 15 days. Any days everyone. Maybe it is the mutual understanding of customer and our company. It is the mutual understanding of vendor and our company. Okay. So, for example, when I want to make the payment for our uh, customer, when I want to receive the payment, example, let it be. Payment date 15 days means uh, 5th of next month, maybe 5th or 6th, whatever. And 2023. 20, anyway, system will show on which date. Example I am taking like this. Okay. So this is called invoice date. This is called payment date. So after posting the invoice, if you see the report on the report, exactly date want to come on which date we need to receive the payment. On which date we want to make the payment for the vendor side. So, based on this due date, outgoing payment and incoming payment, the treasury team will take the decisions. How much amount is coming? How much amount is going? So, what is our uh, plannings? So, everything is depend upon the amount. Every day, uh, the team will analyze how much amount is coming and how much amount is going. How much surplus amount? So based on the surplus amount, uh, so surplus amount, whatever, we need to take the decision and all. The management will take the decision. So this is my scenario, everyone. Better you can pause your video, note it down this. This is our scenario. So this scenario, how to execute in the uh, SAP. Let us assume, example, let's see the PPT. Let's see the PPT. Before going to start, uh, the payment term configuration first you can check field status variant whatever uh, field status group you are assigning into the gls for that field status group you must make it as a due date and payment these two fields make it as an optional okay example where you will create the payment term obp8 example what is the payment term everyone this 10 days and 15 days is the payment terms 10 days and 15 days is the payment terms. Where we will create these payment terms? Example T code is called OBB8. OBB8. And the next one is called uh, create and vendor and customer. T code is called BP, business partner. So here we already mentioned here. It's called BP. Both we create same T code. The next one is called post 
vendor and customer invoice vendor invoice fb60 customer invoice fb70 so here vendor invoice uh, let us assume vendor invoice is called fb60 and the customer invoice is fb70 fb70 then based on the due date based on the due date we want to make the payment we want to make the payment example what is the payment the t codes and example vendor payment f-53 or f-110 whatever and here f-28 okay In example standard t codes and and customer side and vendor side then later we want to see the report if you see the report after posting the invoice if you see the report then there the system will show the due dates when we want to make the payment when we want to receive the payments and all everyone let's create some uh, payment terms let's create vendor and customer and let's post the invoice and as usual i will show you on the sap how to do this activity so before going to start your payment term don't forget to check these two fields make it as a optional so whatever field status groups you are assigning into the uh, gl for that field status groups these two fields make it as a optional so how we can make it as a optional what is the t code everyone let's go that and go to obc4 let's go to obc4 obc4 enter so it's going on browse and here select here your field status variant for example my field status variant is called this one iafs double click on field status group and double click on example g001 here especially uh, i mean payment transaction or additional accounting information uh, not here payment transaction payment right payment transaction here everyone so here payment term and value date and due date so these things you will make it as a optional everyone okay due date especially optional even value date also you will make it as a optional okay these three things you will make it as a optional okay then click on your save click on your save the next one next one is called we want to create payment term we want to create payment term what is the payment term your our payment term is 10 days and 15 days so where we will create this payment term payment term we are going to create on t code obb8 t code is called obb8 on this we will create the payment term example let it be make it as a color okay yeah so everyone concentrated everyone now i want to create the payment term 10 days for the vendor 15 days for the customer everyone how the system behave example everyone for example first what we will do first what we will do first we will create the payment term first we will create the payment term everyone payment term whatever 10 days 15 days 30 days how many days it's depend upon the you and business partner uh, mutual understanding so this payment term we are going to assign the business partner we are going to assign the business partner business partner means maybe customer and vendor based on the business partner we will post the document entries invoice postings and all we will post the document entry example invoice postings invoice postings postings based on the invoice posting we will generate the reports based on the invoice posting we will generate the reports based on the reports maybe we will make it as a payments maybe we will make it as a payments this is a flow actually this is an a flow so on the reports you will get the complete scenario so when you want to make the payment when you want to 
uh, receive the payment like that. Payment term is calculating the invoice due date. That is called fixed payment term. Fixed payment term. Let it be next video. We all we will discuss installment payment term and discount payment term as well. Okay. Let's let's do that, everyone. Concentrate, everyone. So next, what I want to do? The next step is called create payment term. T code is called OBB8. Let's go to OBB8. Go to OBB8 and press enter. Then click on your new entry. Set up here any four digit and write the description. Example, I am set up here. A, uh, A, B, 10. And uh, example, I, A, I, A, A, B, anything, anything description. 10 days payment term. 10 days payment term. In case this 10 days payment term, if you want to use only for the vendor, then remove the tick mark of customer. No, sir, this 10 days payment term, even I can use for other customers. Sometimes these things I can use for the customer's due date also for 10 days. Then you can keep it the customer. No, sir, this 10 days payment term I can use only for the vendor. Then you can keep the tick mark only for the suppliers or vendor. And this 10 days, I want to calculate it from the document date. This 10 days, I want to calculate from the document date or posting date. During the invoice posting, we will select the two dates, everyone. One is document date and one is posting date. So this 10 days, want to calculate it from the document date or from the posting date. In case, if you select the document date, your baseline date is the document date. If you select the posting date, baseline date is the posting date. It means from that day onwards, system will going to calculate the due date. Example everyone, let's select the document date. No default and document date, posting date and entry date. These two are same, these two are same as usual. Okay. The number of days, 10 days. Number of days, 10 days here. Number of days is 10 days. Then press enter, enter. Then click on your save. Click on your save. Click on your save. Okay. Similarly, you can create the payment term for customer. Then here you can select the customer. Here you can enter the 15 days. Okay. Click on your save and back. Okay. The next one. Next one, everyone. So, what is the next step, everyone? Next one is called create the vendor and create the customer. So I am now I am creating the vendor everyone. First I am creating the vendor. Where we will create the vendor? T code is called BP business partner. BP business partner. Let's create the BP everyone for the vendor. How to create? Go to BP. Press enter. Then click on your organization. And uh, create BP role is called suppliers. Financial accounting. And here click on your create. Then here grouping. Example, I am taking domestic vendor for my group. IA domestic vendor or domestic BP group. Then here you can write the vendor name. What is the vendor everyone? Uh, let's go to my Excel. Vendor is called A123 Private Limited. A123 Private Limited. Private Limited. And uh, search term. Set up here any four digit. A123L. And come down, come down. Here you can maintain the vendor address. Example, it is on uh, SR Nagar, house number 9 90123, and pin code 5002062, and Hyderabad, and country India, and region. Here you can select the region, it is an optional actually. And post box number, postal code, come down, select the language. 
English. So in case if you want to maintain a vendor telephonic number, mobile number, fax number, email ID, in case any other communication details of the vendor, you can maintain all the details. And after this basic information, you must click on company code here. Click on your company code and enter the company code IA10 and press enter. So here you need to assign reconciliation account reconciliation account and here you can assign the short key and 012 otherwise vendor number click on your payment transaction here everyone here concentrate here whatever payment term you created on obb8 that payment term you want to assign here i created ab110 i believe ab uh, one zero enter 10 days payment term that payment term here i created then simply click on your save click on your save then now let's pose the invoice everyone let's pose the invoice if you pose the invoice the system automatically calculate the due date Let's post the invoice and go to FB60 vendor invoice. FB60 enter and check the company code. Then vendor select the vendor. Uh, vendor A A one two three private limited and uh, document date posting date. I am taking the twenty date and. Uh, I am taking the 20 and reference. I am doing the testing, and here you can give the narration being vendor invoice posting. And here you can take any GL, any expenses GL. And, uh, back here, amount tap, 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 tap. Here you can take the cost center and press enter. Then copy this amount, control C and paste it here, press enter, then click on your simulate and post and go to document and display. So this is the document entry everyone. Let's see the report. Let's see the report everyone. For example, I want to see the vendor report. What is the T code? T code is called FBL1N. FBL1N. Example, everyone, go to FBL1N. FBL1N. And if you select the vendor, here you can select the vendor. A123 private limited. Select here all items. Then click on here execute. Everyone, concentrate. Everyone. This is called my document date, invoice posting date. Here I want to see the like due date. How I can see that? Click on your change layout. And if you go down, there is you will find the net due date. If you go down here, you will find the net due date. And select this, move to left side. Even you will find uh, day one. You will find day one everyone. Or days one whatever day one day one you can check this even you can verify how which type of fields is available move to left side then click on here okay everyone let's see here everyone this is my document date if you go to right side if you go to right side here you will find net to due date number of days 10 days so against of this invoice against of this invoice we want to make the payment on this date. We want to pay, make the payment on this date. Even everyone, if you run F110 automatic payment program. So all the invoices, whatever invoices completed the due date, all the invoices will pick automatically. How they will pick? Based on the payment term. Based on the payment term. So sim similarly, everyone, similarly, you can do the practice, create one more payment term for the customer 
then create the BP for customer, post customer invoice and let's generate the report. Okay, similarly you can do the practice. Everyone, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, thank you everyone. Bye bye. Next video, uh, we will make it as a installment payment term, discount payment term and all. Okay, and uh, you can write this scenario. Then don't forget to write the flow, how we will do the flow. First, we will create the payment term, and this payment term we are going to assign the BP. Based on the BP, we will post the invoice. Based on the invoice, we will generate the report. Based on the report, we will make the payments. This is the flow actually. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Bye. I am your Punnam Venkat. Bye bye.